So in the previous video, I explained how to estimate the mortgage repayment um, once money has been borrowed for a 30 year term. Um, you need to work out perhaps the monthly repayment and we use a present value annuity factor to estimate similar to a bond in present value bond type estimations uh, we use same type of annuity factor but in this instance we try to deduce what the payment is and we take the ratio of the principal of the mortgage or the sum borrowed and we divide it by this present value annuity factors which I've referred to as being uh, for want of a better term the square brackets okay now next logical step here is to try to look at what are the payments over time um, and we could imagine again uh, the sum of money being borrowed again for a 30 year period that's 360 months if we take the time period involved 30 years by the 12 that's 360 so 360 uh, payments have been made and again the square brackets as outlined here is basically the present value annuity factor and that was 186 and when you took the ratio of 120 divided by the square brackets square brackets we get our repayment of 644 now, generally speaking, we also want to know what are the dynamics, perhaps, over the life of the mortgage. So we can think of month one, month two, right up to month uh, 360. And, of course, that may be important when somebody's considering uh, the uh, payments involved. What are the obligations attached to taking out a mortgage? So, again, our starting point might be to set up a kind of a timeline our mortgage schedule and we can trace out month one, month two, month three up to month 360. And then we can look at the payment. Well, if the interest rate was fixed at 5% over the life of the mortgage, the mortgage payment would just be the 120,000 the principal or the sum of money borrowed divided by the square brackets. And that doesn't change unless the interest rate changes. So if we have a fixed 30 year mortgage which is not unusual in the US more unusual in uh, the British Isles less unusual in, in the US we would expect to have this fixed payment each month for the 360 months interestingly however the interest component the interest component of the mortgage will change so before uh, we worked out we had estimated the different component of the uh, mortgage payment that 644 is configured with a principal element principal interest component interest component and a principal component so the interest is just simply the five percent of five percent of 120 divided by 12 so the interest only in the first mortgage payment is 500 and the principal only component is the difference between the overall mortgage monthly payment and the interest only so we can uh, segment those two flows and again likewise here the difference between the 500 and the 644 is the principal component and that's 144 and then we would expect that the balance the value of the principal must fall by that amount so again if we look at this figure here if we subtract the current principal payment or the principal component element of the mortgage payment from the initial balance or the initial principal then the new balance for month two would be 119,855. Next month, month two, when the second mortgage payment is made, the payment is still the same. However, the interest component, 
is no longer 5% of 120,000 divided by 12. It's actually 5% of 119,000 is 855. So the new balance, and that then gets divided by what? Gets divided by 12. Okay, and then what's the current principle or the principal component from month two? Again, it's the difference between the interest element and the payment. And then when we subtract both of these figures, both of these from 120, so when we take, I've dollarized the principal, by, and that fixes the cell reference. When we take the sum of these two and subtract away from 120, we get the new balance kicking in. Okay, so let's have a, a look at that. Let's pull that down all the way over the 360 months because there there are um, 12 months in a year for 30 years. So 30 by 12 is 360. So we're almost there and we come down and we can go a little bit beyond the 360 just to see what happens so each period if you like each period the maybe we can so each period something happens uh, let's go back let's uh, free, can we freeze okay let's freeze from here so view and we'll freeze panes Okay, and then we'll just pull this down and see what happens. So when we get to month 360, okay, and let's just add a little bit of color here. The value of the balance, so this month 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, and then I've jumped ahead to month 355, and I'm in the last couple of months, and we can see that the mortgage payment never changes. But the interest component is declining. And the principal component, more and more of the mortgage payment that's been paid is towards paying down the principal. So the last principal payment that's been made, only a small element of interest, a small interest component in the last mortgage repayment, a very large principal component, and the balance at the end is brought down to zero okay and if we go further on okay we get negative numbers so that's not going to arise okay although we could think of reverse mortgages but that doesn't we're not going to look at that in this instance okay so that's our, our mortgage repayment schedule and um might be no harm to have a look then at visually how does that work so i have a little graph and what I've done is I've taken let's pull this down let's unfree view unfreeze panes and what I've set out here is an principal only an interest only component of the interest payment so initially at the first time period we have the interest element and the principal element of the mortgage and both of those are represented here so this is the principal element and this is the interest element and over the life of the mortgage as we go through the life of the mortgage and get up to 360 months the interest element is declining falling all the way along and the principal component of the mortgage payment mortgage payment is always 644 the principal component is always increasing during the life of the mortgage okay so that gives us some kind of idea how the mortgage dynamics um, work and how a mortgage schedule uh, can be set out